praise God. We're looking at Smallmouth Haven, the fifth of the St. Croix River sketches. We start off with an E sharp 9 chord, so I've got a G here. E major 7, E, C7, it's a backwards arpeggio, E7, A7, B7. The chromatic run, E sharp 9 chord, G major 7. I've got a G minor with an open B string, so it's just major minor combined. A flat 7, C7, D. Now I'm going to slide here. Starting with a B to a C, slide down. Slide up here, and then I take my elbow and pull the rest down. Like that. G major 7th chord. Fourth finger down with the left hand to the open string. Got a B7. Now we're going to have some six as they come up chrom chromatically. D sharp, E, F, F sharp. Back to our G minor chord with a major seventh. Scale runs with slurs. Back to the beginning with our E sharp 9 chord and our punchy D major 7 D major 7 chord. Up E C E7 A7 B7 chromatic run E major sorry E sharp 9 chord. A major seventh chord. And I slide it up a fret and I go for a G seventh chord, which is sorry, my second finger on the third string. My fourth finger down for G9. Now an E chord. D major seventh chord. With an E comp continuing as a pedal in the bass. G now E major seventh chord. D seventh chord. Letting that all ring out. That's the end of the first section. Now we're going to transition. We're going to put our hand on, a D, on an E chord. Backwards arpeggio. Three note arpeggio. To the D chord. E. D minor. E chord. This is a D up here. It's got an F sharp, B, and an A. Now we've got an F sharp minor seventh chord. First finger across the whole bar, third finger on a C. Now instead of playing the G here, I put the first finger here, let go of the bar, and slide up and play the G so I can vibrate it better up here. It's a vibrato. Now we're ready for the second section and we're going to have an E chord, it's an E6-9 chord. We just strum it. It's a beautiful chord. Down to D6-9, two frets lower. And an E minor 7th with an A note in the top. We have a little melody here, which we play on the second string. Rest strokes, which I kind of slap down. Like that wall with my index finger. E6-9 chord. D6-9. Minor seventh chord with an A string. Now on the fifth string, I've got a little melody. Should I just play with my thumb, nice and thick and rich? Back to our E six nine chord. Add a little melody on top of it, and then we've got a G nine chord here. Fourth string melody this time. Now we got a C sharp minor seventh chord. B minor 7 to an A suspended 4th and 
then we take our third string mel melody and then a B9. Notice how I laid my third finger down three strings and then the first finger on the D, on the D sharp. Bass line and the G. Now we're recap back to the beginning, a recapitulation. E sharp 9. Take this E chord, which is like a D up two frets and backwards arpeggios, A M I. Shift it down to a D and the E to D up two frets to the E, D to this E and this D. All right, so to put that, you're going to float the E to the D. Going back and forth. Try that again. E, D, D, D. Now we've got this C, F, B flat. And then bringing that off from what I've got the bar chord. It across. Now I've got these 6 9 chords here. It's a D6 9, G, D, D flat 6 9, C 6 9. And then I play that with the fourth finger, and then third finger next to it, and then the first finger over the third string and the fourth string. Move the fourth and third finger all the way down to the first position and leave the open strings. Open G string. Bring it up a fret. Put your first finger down on the, on the G sharp. And then let our little run at the bottom. We're going to hammer down an A sharp to a B. And then we snap or hit real hard this E at the bottom. And I just pull that string right out. All right, so there you've got Smallmouth Haven. It's kind of imitating Smallmouth Bath. It's jumping around, or you can get them on your pole, and it's just quite a little fight to pull them in. So it's fun. It's just kind of a fun little piece. Okay, hope you enjoy it. Take care. God bless.